When it comes to backend development, there's basically only one choice, Fortran. I know, picking the right programming language can be very tough, almost terrifying. What if there is a better choice? What are my chances to land a job if I learn this one? What if I spend too much time learning the wrong one? How easy is it to switch later? Of course, I could just tell you, learn JavaScript because it's the best one, duh. But there is a problem with that. Oftentimes, people recommend you a language based on popularity or personal preference, which is totally fine, don't get me wrong. But what if it actually isn't? What if someone recommends you to learn Swift? which is a great language. But let's also say that you want to become a backend developer and specialize in high performance applications. In that case, Swift will get you nowhere. There are literally 100 other languages that I would rather learn. Your time is limited and you cannot learn all languages. So it is absolutely necessary to get the best bang for your buck and therefore to pick the best language for your use case. So today, instead of just telling you to learn JavaScript or Python, I'm going to try a different approach. I will break down software development into all its different types. And then I will tell you my personal top language to learn for every single one of them. This way you will get the best pick for the type of programmer that you want to be. First off, let's start with web development. Although there are so many languages that you can learn in order to build websites, there's only one champion to rule them all. One language that is basically the mother of the internet. Obviously, I'm talking about JavaScript. Nowadays, almost all websites all around the world are written in some sort of library or framework like React, Vue, jQuery, Next, Nuxt, Svelte, oh my god, web devs, what is wrong with you? But the good thing is, these are all frameworks or libraries for JavaScript. So if you want to write code for websites, JavaScript is the one language that you should learn. Next, let's talk about backend development. When it comes to backend development, there's basically only one choice. Fortran. Just kidding. When it comes to backend development, we have to distinguish a little bit, because backend development isn't necessarily backend development, if you know what I mean. Writing a backend for a highly data intensive application is a completely different story than writing a backend for a web shop, and so is choosing the right language for each of these use cases. So what to do? Learn 10 different languages to prepare for everything? Well, this could be one solution, but what if I tell you there's a better choice? There is one language that I personally consider to be the best backend language right now, and that is Go. Not only was it basically invented for high throughput data intensive applications, but it's also simple enough to rapidly build backends for web shops. Web shops. Web shops. But it's also simple enough to rapidly build backends for web shops, or generally speaking, RPC and REST services. I actually created a whole video about why I think that you should learn Go right now, so definitely check it out if you want to know why. One type of software development why I definitely would not pick Go is mobile development. Mobile development is another area where I need to get into greater detail and make some elaborate choices. That is because, as you all know, there are basically two major operating systems that these guys are running on. Android and iOS. Oh, look at me, two phones, fancy fancy. If you want to specialize in any of these operating systems, both of them have the official or native programming language, which obviously is the best choice. For iOS, that's Swift, and for Android, that's Kotlin. But what if you want to write apps that run on both systems? Learn both languages? No, there's a better choice. There are a few languages that are able to cross-compile your code to be able to run on both systems. But to be honest, only two of them are worth your time. One of them is, again, JavaScript. But you also have to learn the React Native framework. React Native is the framework that lets you write code for mobile development. So if you already know some JavaScript, picking up React Native is the way to go. On the other hand, we have Flutter. Flutter is a framework for the Dart programming language, which is not really a widely used language. So you kind of have to learn them both. But if you need to start from scratch and have zero experience with JavaScript or any other language whatsoever, then I recommend going with Flutter. From my personal experience, it's way easier to learn than React Native. And therefore, it's my top pick for mobile app development. The next type of software development I'm going to cover is actually not only one category, but much rather three, which are highly popular and highly in demand. But to me, no matter if you want to become a data scientist or a machine learning engineer or maybe a specialist in AI, my recommended language of choice in all of these cases would be the same. And that is Python, no questions asked. With a seemingly endless support of libraries and frameworks, Python has by far the best support for AI and ML development. So if you want to take this route, 
Python is a must have. Oh, by the way, would you have picked a different language for any of these categories? Let me know in the comments down below. Last but not least, game development. When it comes to game development, there are basically only two choices, Unreal Engine and C++ or Unity and C Sharp. These two game engines are the most popular ones, so picking any of these would be a smart choice. At this point though, I have to be honest with you. I would feel really bad in giving you a top pick among these two engines, because according to my research, there is no clear winner. You can create awesome games, have great job opportunities and land a highly paying job with either of those. So in all honesty, I think it comes down to personal preference. Many big AAA games have been developed using the Unreal Engine. So if you like those types of games, learn the Unreal Engine and C++. If on the other hand you like these smaller indie style games, many of those use Unity. So in that case, go with Unity and C Sharp. Here you go. These are my personal top picks for every single type of software development. So no matter what type of programmer you are or you want to become, this list should make your life so much easier. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep on coding.